Namaste, love and light, divine feminine. Welcome back to another reading with me, Star Seeds Tarot 444. We can get tarot reading so much more. I send you all love and light, abundance, and prosperity. If you all like to book a personal reading with me, please check the description box down below. We are now going to get started. There was another deck I was going to use. Oh, no. Slipping my mind. Star Ancestors. So your star ancestors are here. Your ancestors are all over this. And the Council of Light. Wow. Divine protection. Divine bright light is here. This is star ancestors and Council of Light here. Okay, I'm with this Council of Light. I'm, I'm seeing Council specifically. Okay, there was definitely a spiritual group meeting. Okay, with your ancestors in the Council of Light to try to, you know, get you protected. To see how they can protect you from this wicked and evil that's going on. Um, on earth that's happening to you, just get grounded with this empath, highly sensitive, connect with nature. I feel like you've been up against a bunch of empaths. I'm getting like other people that may share the same spiritual gifts as you. They've been using it against you here. I feel like you guys are empaths, right? And highly sensitive. So you feel what's going on around you. And the spirit wants you to get grounded here. Surrender to the sweetness. So surrender to the 5D energy here. Just continue to tap into the 5D. Do not scoop to the 3D level because spirit is actually in the 3D realm right now. Handling these karmics for trying to get you off your square, okay? For trying to get you ungrounded, trying to set you up and whatever like that. Whatever they try to do to you. Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. I feel like a lot of joy and pleasure is coming into you. You and your person, even if you're at a distance right now. I see great things coming in for you guys. So just continue to hold on strong, okay? If somebody was trying to break out, like separate y'all, whatever. Yeah, baby steps. Spirit is telling you to take baby steps moving forward towards something here. All right, if you've been planning on taking a leap of faith, Spirit is saying to take that leap of faith, but also use baby steps and follow your intuition. All right, and also take action. Take um necessary actions, okay, or take whatever action is necessary for you to take this leap of faith, okay? Yeah. Spirit had to come down and protect your double mission here. You was on a you are on a double mission. A light work, you're a light worker star seed, okay? You're here to serve the world by being yourself, teaching others to be their true authentic self. And I feel like bitches or witches, warlocks, was trying to kill you, okay? Because you are on a double mission, all right? They was trying to kill you because you are on a double mission. Kill you how, you may say. Well, they could be trying to physically kill you, death rituals, stuff like that. They could have been trying to kill your finances, kill your stability, you know, kill whatever happiness that you have, Okay? And your ancestors had to come down and protect your double mission because people wanted you dead. I'm getting that strongly. Like evil eye type of I want you dead type shit. You don't belong here. And those same people that think you're not, that you don't belong here, those are the same people that actually don't belong here. And they only here because of a karmic contract for them to learn a lesson. For them to learn a lesson. But they, you know, they're not on a higher rank or scale than you. Okay, somebody's name is Lucy, by the way. Akasha, yeah, you're divinely guided. Listen, the Council of Light is guiding you right now. Your star ancestors are, are on the 3D realm. Defeating these karmics here in the Council of Light is here guiding you, okay, in the 5D to keep you guided and protected and almost like to help you escape out of some type of mayhem that somebody tries to send your way. Okay, yeah, somebody was trying to stop you from transforming. Okay, and I'm also getting your success transforming as well. So this is you being successful, you having a lot of money. Somebody was trying to block that from you. All right, and you had to get grounded, go into meditation to pick up and feel what it is that you're feeling, okay? Because you guys felt someone physically in the 3D trying to block you here, trying to keep you stuck, okay? And rooted in a sense of just keep you stuck, okay? Rooted and stuck in the ground. So somebody could have been doing either um, burying your name in the ground, burying your name in the dirt to keep you stuck and shit. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, and I feel like it's because you have your own following. It's been coming up for the longest. All right, somebody don't follow you anymore. Just understand that. Spirit wants me to tell y'all. Somebody who was probably harassing you, they don't follow you anymore. It's because your your frequency and your vibration is too high. 
And by you having a high frequency and vibration, that usually ex exposes the shit that's around you. All right, but you're paving a new way, uh, a new path, okay? And you are being the leader that you wish you had. Some somebody did not want to follow the leader. That's what I'm getting, okay? Or they didn't want you to be their leader. They didn't want you to guide them for some reason. Listen, people are seeing things from a higher perspective. And I'm getting that if somebody was trying to accuse you of rushing, okay, trying to be in competition with them, trying to, you know, outsmart them or, you know, try to rush yourself ahead, they're starting to see that you're actually taking baby steps necessary and that this person, you know, and they, the person that was messing with you, the karmic energy, you know, they were just, you know, fucking with you for no real apparent reason. They're seeing like, damn, you're actually taking baby steps. And, and, yeah, you may have your own way, your own teaching style. You may do your things differently. I'm, I'm hearing teaching style. That's why I said it. Okay. But at the end of the day, you're sweet. You're a sweet person. All right? And I feel like somebody got fooled among this little shit that's been going on. Like, whoever been trying to take you down, they got fooled by someone else. And that's what's making them see that you're a sweet person. All right? Somebody also got grounded here. And they realized that they're blocked with this transformation in reverse. They're blocked from their ancestors here, the Egyptians. They're completely blocked here. And it's because you, they're blocked because you're divinely guided. And they was trying to block you from being divinely guided. And your ancestors put a stop to it, put an end to it. All right? Big picture thinking. Some of you guys are Pleiades, okay? Pleiadian energy, visionary, inspired ideas. Somebody was jealous of your inspired ideas and your visionary gifts here. But I feel like you guys are seeing things. You need to look at things from a bigger picture, have big picture thinking. And I feel like some of you guys are, Okay? Sometimes it's hard to trust your intuition when you find out such big news and you don't have anyone to clarify. You have no one to back you up. You just have nothing but spirit and intuition. I mean, that's obviously a lesson and a test. You're going to trust spirit? You're going to trust your intuition? Or are you just going to not listen? You know what I mean? Yeah, new earth is happening. Keep holding the vision, okay? You are invited to this new earth energy. And I feel like that's one of the main issues is with whoever this person is, is you know, they was in competition with you because you was guided towards the new earth. All right. And they may see you in that new earth energy, even if you don't No, give me phone. Even if you don't feel like you are in the new earth, you are. It's only because people have been trying to keep you in the three D instead of the, you know, trying to keep you out of the five D. Hold on. Yeah, so, listen, your star ancestors are going to be the Egyptians and, you know, um, Sumerians, okay, Atlanteans, and, like I said, they're in the 3D, okay, and they had to come down from the heavens just to stop these karmic people from ruining your new earth, your heaven on earth, and, and, and for trying to stop you from going down your double mission. Okay, just know that your star ancestors, the Egyptians, if you deal with them, I saw a black cat today. Every time I see a black cat, I know that's the set. Just understand that they are on planet Earth in the 3D handling these karmics, and they're working with the authorities. I'm getting this could be the spiritual authorities, or they can be in this in the spiritual realm or on Earth, but in the spiritual form. Okay, dealing with whatever law enforcement, maybe that someone tried to put on you, so maybe they're making things work in your favor. So. Someone can't try to put the blame on you or put, point the fingers at you, okay? Just know your ancestors are here. They're on Earth, on the 3D realm, dealing with the karma. All right? Yeah, so you can want, they want you to water your garden. You've been overwhelmed, stressing, you know, thinking, hey, you know, what's going to happen next? Okay, maybe a bit worried or in fear. All right, don't worry. I'm telling you, your star ancestors are on the 3D realm, on the 3D realm, dealing with these karma, one by fucking one. All right, because they did too much. They disrespected you. They broke your boundary, and they and they tried you. But some of y'all, y'all cried. Y'all really broke down and cried when you found out all the shit that this karmic energy was trying to do to you, especially when they were trying to stop your transformation. Because for some of y'all, y'all could have thought, y'all thought that maybe this person was your friend. And y'all had to get grounded and really realize, like, nah. But you're a lot stronger, okay, than this other person. Just know that. So, nourishment, body care, tenderness, rest. Yeah, take care of your body here. If you have any joint pain, headache, or whatever, 
take care of your body, take you some baths, drink you some tea, eat you some healthy foods, do whatever you have to to nourish yourself. All right, because then like I said, with this tenderness, you've been feeling a bit soft. Not soft as in scary, but just vulnerable, okay? It's because you need to nurture yourself, okay? You need to take some rest from certain beings that's just nasty, okay? That's just evil. Called, yeah, listen, you was called to do something. I've been getting this card for y'all for a minute. So, and because it's because a bitch was trying to steal y'all soul gift and get you off your... your double mission okay your soul's training all right it's time to step up yes spirit told you that it's time to step up and the moment you came to step up you've been getting attacked okay or you came across some karmic beings okay that is meant to take you off your square here but people were trying to get you just wanted you dead that's why the ancestors are here okay as the authorities for some of you guys your ancestors are here as the authorities okay locking bitches up okay they not they did not expect to see thaw Okay, Isis, Sekhmet, okay, Heru, Hathor, they did not expect to see all those ancestors. Could have popped up to them in their dreams, or they actually seen it in their mind's eye, but they look like, whoa, what did I just see? And it disappears. That's, they having a tower. I know this is not really the tower, but I'm getting like lightning strike. They're getting a tower. One of your ancestors portaled through, a light, portaled through into this planet, and they came through as like a lightning bolt. Like, they came through in the lightning. <laughs> okay, they came through in the lightning. That's, that's real, you guys. Yeah, look, you're empathic here. You're empathic star seeing. You felt somebody doing some shit to you. All right, you felt somebody trying to block your new earth, okay? And somebody felt you being in that new earth energy, and they got really jealous. That's another reason why they did this shit to you. Energetic sovereignty. You got your energy back, though. You have control and power of your emotions. Absorbing what's not yours. And you're definitely absorbing what's not yours right now. Somebody could have been doing mirror magic on you, all right? And what I'm getting with that mirror magic is that whatever mirror magic they've done, it got you feeling their emotion as it's yours. I mean, that's what most empaths do anyway, but I'm also getting the magic somehow is affecting you. Not and not to say that it works, no, but it's like it's almost like you're feeling this person's energy because of the magic. If they've done magic, I feel like they've done magic. All right, I said this again. Somebody was looking into a crystal ball, all right, or using a mirror to to look into something here to, because you can use the mirror. A mirror is almost like a portal. It is. You can definitely look into it. This person saw either through a crystal ball or through a mirror that you, um, they saw your new earth, your heaven on earth. And they saw a body of water. So they saw, like, you either on a vacation or they just saw you, like, enjoying yourself, okay, maybe at a beach or something. They just saw a vision of you having a happy moment and they got so jealous. They got really, really, really jealous. Share your voice. And I feel like you guys are sharing your voice for some reason. I'm getting at you to sing. You can do what I do. Continue to share your voice. You are sharing the knowledge of the ancestors with this pyramid. But I feel like you are up against a bunch of people. Because you see this pyramid has like a bunch of like rocks, boulders in front of it. I feel like you are up against a lot of people that do not resonate with the Egyptians. That, are, that do not really resonate with your ancestors here. That do not resonate with beings from the stars. All right, you're too weird and cosmic and galactic for these people. And I feel like you've done enough, all right, to try to prove yourself otherwise. So spirit is just like, you need to just nurture yourself and continue to share your voice, but also take care of yourself. Don't waste your time trying to, don't waste your time and emotions trying to explain and get people to understand you. They don't understand, they just don't understand. Okay, you are from lost lands, a lost land I'm getting for some of y'all. And y'all have that soul memory. To tap into that to find out what land you are lost from. And you have soul gifts. Like I said, you have soul, we have soul gifts here too. Your soul gifts, somebody was jealous of the, of the gifts that you possess on a soul level. That means it's yours. It's, <laughs> it's your gifts, okay? This is not some shit that, you know, you just activated. Like, this is part of your soul. And the song is called Memories. Isn't that funny? But um, some of you guys are going to travel to one of these lost lands i feel like you guys have in one of your dream states you already traveled to one of them all right to gain some information you know to help you out in one of your missions here on this planet it's like you kind of woke up and you knew exactly what you needed to do next that's because you traveled to that lost land and you received the guidance and the wisdom necessary all right don't just look like port look like a portal okay so yes i feel like you guys definitely um portal through a lost land here and you need to whatever mean it whatever message you receive from that dream spirit wants you to look at it from a bigger picture okay if you have not figured out what you need to do with that message all right you're not alone somebody definitely wanted to isolate you 
all right? Somebody in your community wanted to isolate you, physical connection, people who you had 3D connections with, they kept you isolated. They wanted that on purpose. All right, with this messenger, you guys are messengers. You guys could be Syrians, bringing harmony and balance. I feel like that is what you do when you share your voice. You bring harmony and balance into um, other people's lives. It's like your throat chakra is very healing. People could just hear your voice and it's just extremely healing. All right, and with the sisterhood of the rose, I feel like you're going to come across a, um, a group of sisters, okay, or you come from a group of sisterhood that are beautiful, very devoted spiritually, that are priestess, mystics, and teachers. But I feel like you guys are going to meet beings like that, okay, other soul tribe members like that when the time is right, of course. You can't call everyone your soul tribe. Look, spiritual ancestors here at the bottom. So the ancestors are here. You see this community? Yeah, these people try to call you, try to um, kick you out of some type of community um, group here. But look, now your ancestors are coming in as a, a pack of community, okay? And they're surrounded this karmic, all right? They are. And they're receiving judgment, okay? Because they try to make you experience a huge loss, all right? And I feel like with this imagination and loss, I'm getting like you disconnected from the dream realm. Okay, the spiritual world, they was trying to block you from that, trying to block your crown. Whoever did this, I am getting that this person is, is cried. They could have cried even if they plan like they're not. They cried here for what they did to you because if they haven't, they will. Then Because they're realizing what they did to you and they're realizing that it was wrong and it was very demonic. All right, and this is someone that could always talk about how someone's a devil, but they're doing devil work. So that could have really made them cry. Then they realize, like, hey, I'm doing devil's work. <laughs> you know, but... um. This is an Indian oil my mom got me. Well, for awakenings and stuff. And I put it on my card. Okay, look, the Holy Spirit is at the bottom of the deck. And I put it there. So you're anointed by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit anointed you. And I feel like, you know, y'all had karmic energies that were jealous of the fact that you're anointed. But anyways, we have physical, I'm sorry, psychic awareness and self-esteem. Your psychic awareness, your psychic ability, your soul gifts made someone very insecure. All right, this is someone that may say that they use Archangel Michael and stuff like that. I'm getting, listen, I'm picking up, like, dusty energy. This person haven't utilized Archangel Michael in a long time. And when they did utilize him, I'm getting that they was feeling good. It was in a high vibration, but they lost themselves. And now they go around trying to make other people lose themselves, okay? But divine soul, yes, you have a, a divine soul. Soul gifts here, remember? Soul gifts. Divine soul. You have a divine soul, and that's why people is also coming for you, because you are divine, and they were jealous, okay? They were jealous of your awareness, your psychic abilities, your soul, okay, your soul, um, I'm hearing your soul pattern, so your past lives. If somebody tapped into your past lives, they became even jealous of that, because you were very successful, all right? And you um, put in a lot of work. But you're loved and protected by Archangel Michael here. You may not see him. Okay, you may, but just know that he's around, okay? You may feel him, you may not, but just know that he's around, and people are watching him. People are watching, seeing you being protected by Archangel Michael. This is in the dream world. Just know these karmics, they're going to be having having a lot of dreams about you, okay? They're going to be real, They're going to be seeing your divine soul. They're going to be seeing Archangel Michael with you. Archangel Michael is actually your guardian angel now. If you were just using him as a spirit guide, okay, or if you were just a spirit guide, just know that he is a guardian angel now. He is one of your guardian angels. You guys, it's like he leveled up to that rank in your in your spiritual journey, okay, in your soul journey, to be a guardian angel. So he's permanently in your life. Each lifetime, he's going to follow you and guide you, okay? Yeah, look, gifts, appreciation, and compromise. That's crazy. Listen, somebody, listen, this is someone that could have been close to you. They could have been like, yeah, I really appreciate your gifts. Okay, I really, really, really appreciate you. You know, you really helped me. You know, you're... Your psychic abilities help me see things, but then they wanted you to compromise because with this master teacher, they felt like they was more of a master teacher than you, or they knew a little bit more. Even though they appreciated you and and you and you know you helped them and you helped them see whatever gifts they have, they still wanted you to compromise. You cannot, be, you couldn't be more powerful than them. You couldn't be more gifted than them, and that's what kind of turned this person astray from you. 
all right, is the fact that, you know, you wouldn't come, look, <laughs> you, you wouldn't compromise your psychic awareness, you wouldn't psych compromise your gifts, it's like this person try to, and what I'm getting with compromise for some of you guys is like they wanted you to listen and believe to what they say, like you listen and, you listen and only follow their beliefs, even though your spiritual gifts help them, they still wanted to guide you spiritually and tell you certain things, and you guys are just like, no, I know, I know. I know the Holy Spirit is a part of my spiritual family, you know, I know Archangel Michael protects me, you know, I, whatever it is, whatever it is that was um, opposite of what this person believes, and that's what really made them pissed too, that's what really made them feel like they have power and control over you, okay, but this dog days, the song is called dog days, somebody's gonna experience dog days, I don't know what that means, okay, but just, I'm just getting dog days, like maybe they're gonna be in the dog house, okay, yeah, and somebody's in denial here, somebody's in denial of being jealous of you, and being jealous of Archangel Michael, what I'm getting with that is somebody is denying that fact that they was jealous of you and Archangel Michael working together, okay, fighting and defeating karma. They in denial about it, or they're going to tell you, I wasn't jealous of you, I wasn't like that, how can you say that? Listen, with this eye, with, with, with this hand over one eye, just know they're telling half the truth, and their mask got, spirit snatched their mask off, and they're still trying to cover up. Like I said, they're going to tell half the damn truth, they're not going to tell the full truth. All right, in the near future, you got something way better for you, a better partnership, a better friendship, better family. You got better people coming around you, so don't worry about this, okay? Divine helpers, your spirit guides help rip this person's mask off because they were just doing too much, too much lying, all right? You have to, you're going to be celebrating in the end, okay? You're going to be celebrating in the end. Don't even worry. Father too. And I feel like whoever this person is that was doing this to you, they they are in solitude now trying to connect back with their higher self, but they feel blocked. They're trying to connect back with their gifts, but they're blocked here. They're actually trying to use their gifts now for good, and they feel blocked, okay? They feel blocked. Yeah, because they are in shame. They feel really bad. My heart dropped right before I said this. Somebody's heart is just dropping. You know, they're not happy, Okay. Somebody feel really stupid too. Yeah, because you're still celebrating. But I'm like, okay. what I'm getting is that, yes, you're celebrating, but you're not happy. Like, you appreciate spirit for doing this, but it was the journey. It's the shit that you went through that really make it, like, you know, you can't really enjoy yourself. Like, yeah, okay, this karmic in solitude now, okay, but, and, you know, but it's like the experience that you went through. It just, it was exhausting. Thank you, spirit, for this confirmation. It was exhausting here. Yes, you had, we have divine helpers three times, so, and we have star ancestors in the Council of Light. Trust me, you was beyond helped and assisted, because this was spiritual. Bitches was tapping into the spiritual realms to take you down. That's why it's like this, okay? But you was exhausted, you was depleted. Yes, yeah, spirit is trying to heal you now, give you your light back, give you back your star, okay? But it's like, at this point, you guys, like, do I even want this shit? Like, is it really a priority? Whatever this star energy is, this could be your life path. You know, your career, your purpose, whatever. You're just like, is it really, is it worth it? Is it priority? And I feel like other people are saying that too. Some of you guys, other people that care about you are, are really questioning if you should really do this or not because of the amount of shit that you went through. That's not for everybody. But I feel like mainly you're just like, is it really a priority? Because it's the competition was causing you to suffer. Like these people was in competition with you and they wanted you to suffer bad. They wanted to suffocate you. They wanted you dead. And that's why you're thinking to yourself, is it worth it? Is it really a priority? Am I going to always go through competition? Are they always going to be causing me to suffer here? Are they always going to be sending shadow spirits after me? This is what you're thinking about with this imagination. And your inner child is worried because you went through this shit by yourself. Somebody was trying to strip you from your inner child too. Just know they all in shame. And yes, you're receiving karma, good karma, karmic justice with this balance. Okay, but I feel like with this restriction, you don't even want to think about this situation anymore or these people. But thinking about, but whatever it is that, you know, whatever your purpose is, I guess, makes you think of these people. Whatever it is these people try to block from you, it makes you think of them, okay? So that's why you're just like, maybe I should just take a break. But just understand, you got the victory, all right? Divine Helpers is here again, okay? So, yeah, you have the victory here. People are going to be giving you your accolades, your congratulations. More stars are coming in, so more Starseeds are coming, are going to be awakened to this earth, what I'm getting. More starseeds are going to be coming into this earth. So some of you guys are destined to have another starseed baby. Okay, and what I'm also getting is that whatever soul parts this person took from you, that's coming back. Okay, y'all could have just worked on your, your um, chakra, chakra, or you need to work on your chakra, chakra, because that's orange. This victory is orange. You need to feel the victory in your gut, too. All right, I feel like your intuition was definitely right when some um about... Somebody is being jealous of your psychic awareness here. 
I'm trying to feel your divine gifts, okay? It was, I'm telling you, I can't make this shit up. All right, your intuition was right. You had secret competition, and you won. So with this warrior guys, your spirit guys fought for you. They didn't even want you to fight half of these battles because they know that they can defeat them. But these people, they wanted to put you in a, sta a, a standstill. All right? It's like they wanted you to, to fucking bark. But you warred. And spirit warred, too. Yeah, they wanted you to be in survival mode. Honestly, these bitches been in competition for your victory and your success. They see how successful you want to be, and you're young, too. All right, and they're like, you're young at it. That's what the energy I'm getting. Somebody could have said that. And they was very jealous, and they wanted you to be in survival mode. And you be constantly in a healing, and it's like you constantly need healing. All right, and what I'm getting, you see all these sharks around this boat? Y'all definitely was among the sharks, okay? And these sharks was definitely trying to harm you. They was definitely trying to harm you. Somebody is definitely being stripped of their gifts, though. Honestly, yeah. And I, with this partnership and love, this could have been someone who you was in a um, relationship with or somebody who you was in partnership with. Okay, and a, this could be business, partnership, okay, work, partnership, all right? You may love what it is that you do, but it's a constant tug and war. Somebody always trying to take some shit from you, always trying to take your gifts, take your stability, take your victory. It's like it's overwhelming and it's tiring and it, it, it is. it got you questioning. Do I want to be a part of this spiritual community? Do I want to bring my business into this spiritual community? Because I always have some type of life force coming after me. This life force, I'm getting like negative energy. Yes, somebody's always coming at you forcefully and it leaves you exhausted. Yes, you love what the hell you do, but you also feel discontent. Okay, because bitches are always trying to send shadows after you, like I was saying. All right, yes, Spirit is saying it is time for you to step into your leadership role, though. And the Holy Spirit is protecting you and watching over you. You're going to meet beings that's going to help you climb, climb up that ladder, but you need some self-control with intuition. And then somebody may feel like you need to control your intuition here because you just pick up too much messages. Um, I, 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 You may feel like, yeah, that's true, but I don't know. That's for somebody. I don't know. But with the self-control and intuition and death, I just feel like you picking up these type of things about people is coming to an end. People trying to destroy you, try to take you down, distract you, you know, your intuition warning you about things like this, like, that shit is gonna come to an end, I'm getting, it's gonna come to an end, alright, and you could've even made a decision and be like, spirit, like, no, I can't be going through shit like this, I have a life, you know, I have a life, yeah, I can't be put, putting me through things like this, <laughs> so spirit is just like, you know what, this is the last time we're gonna go through this, they promise, I feel it in my, my heart, this is the last time, they literally could've said that, just, you know, just now, <laughs> and that's why I felt it in my heart. Like they're saying, this is the last time you're gonna go through this. They know it's hard. They see it. That's why they're here in the 3D. Okay, making these karmic suffer. Now they're making the karmic suffer because you were suffering. Now they're making them suffer, and they're suffocating them too. All right, they're suffocating their ass too. Like they're suffering, suffocating them because you're going down because you have a new beginning. So basically, spirit is protecting you now, so you can continue to go down your new beginning with this divine father. This is God. God is here protecting you, self control, restriction. But like some of you guys are definitely holding yourself back. Yeah, I feel like you're gonna have an epiphany. All right, and tap back into that that grace energy. But right now, you guys just feel the the pride. Yeah, I was well. At least y'all was feeling the pride. I'm not gonna say right now. Yeah, I was feeling the pride. It just got you questioning like, should you move forward? Should you not? I think you should, but you should just probably take a break here and just allow, you know, in the sense of take a break if you need to, allow spirit to, to deal with the karmics and come back when you feel like it's safe. You know, and I'm getting fuel here. You have to re recharge yourself, okay, to recharge yourself. Put that fuel, you know, gas. Physical, look, y'all are exhausted. And I feel like bitches were doing magic so you can wake up feeling exhausted and your body is in pain. I'm Even your kids, your kids just having bodily pain. That's another reason why y'all just want to separate because people are coming for your kids too. It, just, it really just got you questioning shit. Wondering if this shit is really for you. You know, maybe the karmic should just keep it since they want to be in competition so bad. Nah, nah, nah. Don't even think like that. This is meant for you, this is for you. But for you, it's going to always manifest okay boredom but it's not that y'all are bored but y'all may feel a bit bored but what i'm getting is that these karmics is actually bored with what the fuck they're doing here all right they're bored with like if they're in competition with your soul gifts and however they're using it they're bored with it that's why they're attacking people now including you i'm getting people because they did it to others i believe but that's why they're attacking people and you with um 
black magic with dark magic because they they're bored they're not content they're not happy they're not just settled nah they want to do black magic too to try to stop others you know this is just understand this person do this for fun yeah purpose this is about your purpose. And I feel like this person did this shit to you on purpose. Whoever this person that was in secret competition with you, they they, they chose wrong and they could have chose right. All right, and they did this shit on purpose. But understand, if if this karmic has the same type of shit, like y'all like y'all both in the spiritual community, obviously it is. All right, if it wasn't, I won't be picking it up. This person is bored. Whatever purpose they have in the spiritual community, they're bored with it. They're not happy. They feel like they mastered all that they need to know. Like they learned everything they need to know. And with the spirit teacher, they feel like, they are part of spirit. I don't know. Like, they are part of spirit. Like, they're already spiritual. They're already wise. They don't need to do this no more. They just need to move forward. I feel like, yeah. I feel like, honestly, that's the energy that the karmic is coming into now after they defeated you, okay? Because somebody has a fucking book of spells. See this book? They have a book of damn spells. And they be sipping on their wine, doing spell work. But I feel like somebody is doesn't want to do spell work anymore after what they did to you. Okay, because they realized what they did to you was, was sad. It was really bad. Whatever the, whatever this karmic did to you, it was really, really, really bad and degrading. All right, and low. Like, they went below the belt. And and it's like, the energy I'm getting from spirit and God is like, they're telling this karmic, like, you are, you are, you're bored with what it is that you do. You don't even love your purpose. Why are you in competition with other beings that have higher self-esteem and that love being a psychic, that love reading cards, that love sharing their voice, that love healing and promoting healing to others. Why are you trying to stop people from doing that? Because you're bored with yourself. Find you something else to do. If you feel like you need to go down a new path, go down a new path. You don't have to do this. Okay, whatever it is that they're doing. They don't have to do it. All right, that's, that's why they're suffering. Their crown is blocked, and they don't even care if the crown is blocked. They don't want to receive no more download or messages about you or anyone else anymore. I'm getting a vibe that they're going to try to remain focused here, but they're just going to, they're just going to eventually just lose themselves. Yeah, pleasure in this person. You had a lot of pleasure here, a lot of love for what it is that you do because you are a divine goddess. And I feel like you had a, love, a lot of love for yourself, and that was lost, okay? Because bitches in your community was trying to fucking with the discipline teach you a damn lesson, and they was fucking being hard on you, all right? It was being hard on you for no reason, all right? Life force coming at you with all they fucking force here trying to be a leader and trying to tell you what this priorities are want to do. And with this imagination, you're, you're connected already with, you know, but this imagination, I'm getting you already connected, okay? Because imagination is a, is a world. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a part of the dream state. Your imagination, you can tap into it. It's a place, okay? Consciously, mentally, you can travel there. Y'all know this. Y'all should know this. If y'all don't, look it up. All right, so it's like your imagination told you, like, no. Like, you, you can, you're straight. And I feel like some of you guys, your intuition could have told you, like, this situation that somebody is dealing with someone is risky, all right? Because... That person was trying to steal your creativity and, and harvest your energy here and steal your intuitive gifts because they've been stripped from their intuitive gifts with this um, deprivation, all right? They've been stripped from it. They're just an empath. Like I said, y'all are up against empaths. These empaths are thinking that they're psychics. They're not psychics. They are empaths. No offense to them, but they're not psychics anymore because their gifts got stolen away because they obviously did the same shit to someone else, all right, and God punished them, and they don't even realize that they're punished. Okay, they're not even realizing that they're punished, that they're, they're they're asleep, they're not awake, they're not awakened. Like I said, these people are empaths; they're not psychics. Once was I feel like what was once loved is lost, but it's gonna come back. Okay, it's gonna come back, and that's what they wanted anyway. All right, yeah, look, they wanted your new life. Like I said, somebody tapped into a crystal ball and saw that you was just in a surrounded by a body of water and on, like, a vacation somewhere really nice. All right, and I've been picking up vacation energy for the longest, so y'all going to be going on a nice vacation, and a bitch channeled that shit, saw that shit through a crystal ball and was trying to fucking block that and was also trying to manifest for you to die on your way to the vacation if she couldn't block it. All right, these people be specific with their spell work. Very specific here. Look, they be devoted as fuck. <laughs> Devoted as fuck, and y'all really thought this person was a sister, a soul tribe here, but they turned out to be fake, and, and y'all can't believe it. This person can't believe it either, honestly, and they in regret. Yeah, people in your community. I feel like you guys are surrounded by a bunch of people in your community with the same purpose, like tarot reads, everybody on fucking YouTube doing this shit, and y'all just had somebody that was just crazy as hell, doing spell work, jealousy, the same shit that I'm going through. Y'all could have went through the same damn thing, all right? 
somebody thought that you was risky, okay, in the sense of they was in competition, all right, so they wanted to fucking put you through hell and back, prove that they're smarter than you, prove that they're more tapped in spiritually, that they, you know, they read more books than you, I feel like, this, you know, this person don't read as much as you do, or vice versa, maybe you don't read as much as them, but they're not, calc they're not downloading or analyzing the information, what's wrong? That girl is funny. She cried over any little thing. It's pretty funny. <sighs> All right, but yeah, they and it's like somebody was like that's what I'm getting. That's what I was getting. Somebody was perp like just purposely reading books just so they can learn more and and say that they know more than you. Know more about God, okay? This is how they think God looks like. No offense. No offense. No offense. Okay, <laughs> but um, trying to learn more about God, more about physical metaphysics here. Okay, quantum shit. Like they just was just going crazy. Okay, going crazy trying to be in competition with you, and you love what it is that you do. And this person feel it with the life force. They feel that life force that you love what you do, and that's why they were jealous and they want to take you down. Just get one more. Just know, if this person tried to apologize, like I said, they did this to you on purpose, okay? Decisions. They are making a, they might make a decision, connecting with their higher self. They may make a decision like, hey, maybe I should apologize to divine feminine, okay? For some of you guys, this, this, this scrub, <laughs> and I'm seeing, I'm hearing scarab too, that's the Egyptians, okay? So the Egyptians are calling this person a scrub because they try to call the Egyptians scrubs, okay? Not literally scrubs, but they said something close to that word. All right, but um, what was I saying? Yeah, this karmic is tapping into their higher self. You can still tap into your higher self, okay? Which is, you know, 5D conscious. I feel like even though they're blocked here, they, they were still able to access their higher self and they were trying to make a solid decision if they should give you some type of offering here, you know, or like, you know, apologize. It could, it could be two people trying to make a decision to apologize to you. Spirit is saying, understand that this person did this on purpose, okay? They did this to you on purpose. So they're trying to apologize now because you're still walking in light and you are still surrounded by love and you are loved, okay? Look, shadow. Listen, y'all was dealing with shadows here in this spiritual community. Y'all was dealing with shadow people, all right, that are in leadership, that are fucking guiding other people. They are in their shadow. They are in sh They are in their ego, which is not bad, but they are almost spirits and they are promoting They are promoting ego in the sense of they are promoting people to be in ego-based thoughts, fears, and shit like that just by them being in it. Even if they're telling them 5D energy, tell them to walk away from karmic shit, they're still telling, they, by them being in the shadow, they're still kind of feeding that energy, feeding into that shadow-like energy. This song is called Levitating. Some of y'all can levitate, all right, for sure. That's what I'm getting here. Um, but, yeah, it's like some of y'all are being guided by people that are dark. Okay, that are shard that are shadows, okay? That are in their shadow and they need healing. They need divine healing here. Alright, this is you. This person was like this. Superior thought that they were superior over you. You have the love and they got all this fear and rage, okay? They need deep healing. They need deep healing and they need their priorities straight. Instead of doing magic on people, they need to get their priorities straight. And I feel like somebody get their creativity based on, just just by stealing from others. Biting off of others. But I love y'all so much. Namaste.